phenol black folks and pretty much uh, can't get it down to the gnat's ass yet but that's why we have to watch these discoveries all the time now basically what you can see from core 1a and I'm gonna blow this up full screen at this point in time when this video is here as soon as it comes up and loads into the deal you're gonna see more than likely what's Alraf uh, doing a CME behind the Sun because we're gonna be able to show you what we pretty much figure is and tears I haven't been able to find anything too much that the idea that uh, Dirk Strong is off too much is the idea that we're getting to see but the feature that we're seeing around Antares, then the idea that it's turning into almost like a planet, and why don't we see the ring when we see other shots of Antares? So then it has some kind of a gas ring around it like Saturn has from a distance. So basically, we're not loading here, so I'm gonna get down to size to try to show you what we're, what we're seeing is this here, and I don't understand why it's not showing when we go to full screen. It should just go ahead and go to full screen. and so basically if I play it, so what I'm going to do is you can see this here and I guess I'll just pump up the screen size here and we'll see the amazing feature that we're going to end up seeing this here which you cannot miss is going to end up popping up and more than likely this is a CME off of more than likely something like Alraf and then I'll end, I'll end we're going to end up figuring it out because basically we're going to be able to stay in the fact that we have Antares or or whatever, whichever large supergiant star, because that's what all these are, supergiant stars. But that's what's also got me. I'm not dead on that it's Antares yet. The global cluster, possibly, and I'm going to have the actual factual data for you in this video. So basically, we're going to stop and zoom out on this. So basically, all I did is pumped out from 400 to 200. And I'll, I'll show you real fast. I just pumped to 400, and then that's what we were at. Now I'm going to pump out. To, uh, we'll just go to like 150 and then we'll see that you're you're going to be able to match up that we're still at the same video okay so you're going to see the CME come off of more than likely Alraf or whatever is behind the Sun and I'm going to show you some other stuff that's behind the Sun from uh, what we're thinking that it's Antares what certain people are saying that it's Antares so far and I'm mm, the only thing is why is it <coughs> why is it looking but it is the distances so then a star could end up looking like that from a long distance but then the electrical and magnetical that we're seeing around that object <coughs> we'll see in a little bit and so we'll go ahead and uh, play this video and you'll end up seeing this pop up like that and you'll see the CME come off of more than likely something like a star the size of Alaraf and it, that's how fast it goes folks and I'll keep on just dragging it back and you'll end up seeing it pop up on the right hand side and then you can basically just go ahead and go watch this video and I will knock it down to a good size where you can because basically even if somebody puts uh, so anyhow this is the video you go to for it and it has it at YouTube on that then there's one other I can just click real fast I'll go ahead and go where am I at I'm on that I can go ahead and you'll get the same footage from this one here it's got a zoom in on it okay he's got a zoom in shot on it he or her don't take any time to so you get that so this one's a good one for watching it maybe we can even just pump this up to 100 percent real fast so basically that's more than likely a cme from something like alaraf or larger and then I'm going to go show you the sizes of the global cluster and Antares that the guy was showing you that's out there and where it's positioned behind the sun. Uh, but it's still, the jury is still, I mean, we're getting pretty close that we figured it's exactly what it is, but at the same time, I haven't got anybody say, yeah, that's exactly what it is. We figure, and then, but when someone's going to be agreeing with that that's what it is and so forth, let me go to the data. Now, as we're going to go to the data, we're also going to end up having some other stuff that you can take a look at here because we'll basically pump up to like, uh, actually I won't, I'll just use the uh, magnifier, but you have uh, one, two, three, four that we know for sure, okay? Now Pluto and Neptune and Uranus we do care about, but at this point in time when we're looking at this, we don't uh, worry about that and we'll know in a second by when I'm just basically going and go to the data here in a few seconds, but we'll pump into this shot and then when you figure 
that you got three that aren't in our view, okay, seven, and then we're, we have eight, and we think but when we're starting to wonder, do we have nine in our solar system? I mean, close, well, solar system for sure, but the idea what I'm saying is around, that rotate around the sun, okay? So now, uh, what we're going to end up doing is we've got what we know of Mercury up here, so you, do, you can, we've got four no matter what. Five, six, and then if we have, because see, you see the magnetical, okay? It's not the satellite, there's an actual planet here somewhere that's doing a magnetical. Now, and as you can see right there, there's something down here, but what is it exactly? Is it behind? And that's what I'm figuring is it's something that's just below, and then basically I'm figuring it's this planet right there. Okay. Now, it could be the angle and everything that we're seeing. That, that could be maybe possibly, but we'll look. And so this is something to work on here also to see which planet we got here in this beautiful shot that we're getting from. Because what we're getting from this H1A back on the 26th is Mercury, and you also see that you're getting Mercury in that last shot that I showed you. But so you count your planets. We have eight that we know that rotate around the sun. And now, now this is Venus up here to the left, and I'll just pump up real fast on the magnifier. We end up catching Venus doing a CME reactive flare. Okay, that ends up doing a CME reactive flare up there to the left. Okay, that's Venus doing that. Okay. So you get a little bit of Venus in H1A2 here, okay? So, um, and then back to the 24th, you can get this footage here that I got planned for you here that you'll end up seeing. That's Mercury there. Okay, now don't get it mixed up. Now you always got to watch the, this is B, okay? These are B shots, okay, behind, okay? So farther out. As I showed you the great shot that we have from, I wish this was playing faster right now. But anyway, the farther out shot that we get from. So really quickly, what I'm going to be interested in finding out is what what, what great views are we getting of these here, uh, four objects that are up by Mercury and Venus on this A ahead work here. So it's going to be really good to get a look at what a lot of people have been telling me and the same thing we're interested in what, knowing what this stuff here is here so we're going to get we'll end up getting a digest of this in the next few videos of seeing what we've got there that we've been seeing for a long time. now folks the quick the best thing to do to dive into these shots is using magnifier but also what you're noticing when i do go magnify up and as you'll give you i'll give you a good example right here i'm i'm talking about the magnetical and basically it's the twinkler here and see my arrow is not going to be exactly on it when I go to magnifier, it's not, so you want to see what I'm looking for is the magnetical, like a Venus and Jupiter is what we have here, and then also what we have here. So now I'll pop out of this shot. So you'll see when I do go to magnifier, my pointer doesn't go exactly, but just remember, I'm looking at the biggest, brightest objects that you're seeing next to where my pointer's at, okay? And then basically, I'm looking at this here and looking at that there. So as you've seen in the previous stuff, it, my pointer is not exactly on when I get to the magnifier. Now I'll go down to our constellation map when it's always opposite east to west because you're basically laying on the ground and looking up at space when you're when you're doing it. Now, as you see, we have our seven here, okay, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, but there are what's missing is Saturn, which is nothing. It's not missing. It's just farther out in the uh, rotation of. Remember, this block here is this shot here zoomed in. Okay, You just put this down in here to this square and then Uranus and Neptune are farther out. I don't understand why they didn't show us Neptune on here because basically we got, I mean, uh, Saturn. Okay, Because Saturn should be in the outer and then they missed it on here. They didn't show it on here, but I'll show it to you on, on Constellation Map. So as you can see, Saturn's in alignment with Venus. So when you go back and look at the shots, because that's your current alignment, Central Standard Time, 2.16 p.m. on 11.29.02, okay? So no matter what, we know our object's up by the sun, and I'll take you to core. Directly in alignment with Venus would be, so then this is either Saturn over here or Saturn here, but it's more than likely, since it's close in the shot, it's absolutely more than likely it is not uh, Pluto, Neptune, or Uranus. See, because Pluto, Neptune, Uranus are smaller. So this here, I can point pretty good when I'm on 400, and then this here. So we want to find out which one is this is Saturn, 
So we'll do that in the next video. What's great about this shot, even though Mercury's closer in orbit to the sun, there's Mercury there, you see? So it's not also over here, you see what we're saying? Because the sun's getting blocked by the solar panel. So now everybody's figuring that this is what this is, and I really not, it's just the idea that if we did have it, then we've got great views of this stuff. But I can't guarantee this yet, okay? This is not my video, this is basically, I can't guarantee this yet, but we have a great in-look view here of all of it to be able to detect exactly what it is. But then, so we got a great way to study this, and basically what the main thing is though, if this is Antares, why are we getting this magnetical left and right and at an angle? It could possibly be a planet, okay? So that's what my thing is on being, being alert. But it's not going to go away for a long time. If it's Antares, we'll be able to keep an eye on it, okay? So one, one way or the other, so we'll get be able to keep an eye on this because, because see, NASA and Navy and, and uh, everything is not exactly sure what it is either because they, so they don't want to see, see it sometimes. So we'll be able to keep an eye on it for a long time because there it is right there, okay? And actual factual here, I'll just pump it up to 400 real. So we keep, we'll be able to keep an eye on it for a long time. Remember, it's up right of the sun, not down to the left. Because remember, C3 is a headshot, and this is there and in the video here. And basically, I can hit that and pump this up, and we're not going to lose sight of it for a while. But also, they're not going to let the player play very good, because I was already trying to videotape this earlier, and they don't like me to be able to show it and blow it up. Because basically, that's that right there. Same thing. We got to look at it here. You can see it moving along here. So we're not going to miss sight of it because that's right there. And let me go give you the technical data. So it's not going to go away for a long time on this shot here. Okay. Because that's it right there. Okay. So it seems to me to be a planet. Either that or then so damn far away that this, it is a star and it is Antares possibly. Because you won't get fooled that it's Mercury. And also, because we're not going to lose track where it's at. It's up there. Because this is a head shot of behind of course but it, this is the a camera i.e freeze and read all this information here because this is a head now lasco 2 and i haven't really even uh as you can see here we're at lasco 2 and basically i haven't even played this yet i'll hit play on this but i'll be able to go down here should have the map down here okay so that's the latest and basically i showed you that streak already and everybody else is catching on to it too it's not a persistent object it's huge and it went by fast and i showed you that originally so there's your information, you can freeze and read all this also there. But we should have a map. No, I'm going to have to take you back for a map. Hang on. See, I help you not get Mercury confused with our object because Venus was flaring up to the left on the footage I showed you before on the 26 or whatever. And then here's our map. So basically from A, all you can see is you get it a little bit in B. We ended up seeing a little bit of Venus flashing with Mercury. You can see it in B. And then you, all you can really see here is Mercury because Venus is up and out of the way. So then we know that basically over at B, it's like, what are you going to be able to see? All you can see is Venus and Mercury, and we've already showed you Venus and Mercury from both A and B. And Lasco 2 is, um, when you go to Lasco 3, I believe, uh, Lasco 2 is a zoom in of Lasco 3, okay, which is behind, I mean, but they're all behind. A and B are both behind the sun, but B is the A ahead shot. Lasco 2 and 3 are the zoom in and the far out shot of a head. So we know that that object is not Mercury or Venus. Because Antares and M4 are both right here in this shot. And I'll give you a good example in a second. This is how it sits today, live at this time, Central Standard Time, on the 29th of 12, of 012, okay? 2012, 11, 29, 2012, 2.29 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's how it sits behind the sun, okay? Now all these objects are up there by Antares, Messier, which is M4, and basically you can take and always stop and freeze that on that, but that is what is that far away M4 global cluster, okay, M4, okay, which, now if you zoom in, M4 was on there before with Antares, but basically I separated it here, so you just have M4, so then you know where it's at, okay, but I'm trying to pressure NASA into saying that it's Antares, or not because basically I don't think they really believe it's Antares yet for sure or not, but they need to tell us what it is. It's going to be around for a while and we can see it. Or do we have another planet? And why NASA's not bragging that they can see it, I'm proud of it, but is it Antares and M4? That's the thing is, and that's what they're, is it or not? M4 is hella far away, but it's hella huge, and it's a cluster, and Antares, and that's magnified 10,000 times, okay? That's how much the difference in size is. So Antares is huge, 